Hello everyone, my name is Epic Chuck, and today I'm going to be digging into the truth of the creepypasta and or story of LSD Dream Emulator. I have looked this up, and honestly not that much info was given on the game. To download an emu uh, a ROM file or an emulator file, it's really hard to find them. So, I decided to give you... Uh, a quick guide of what this game is. There's not that much info on it except for two guys gaming who uh, who did like a little playthrough of the game. But I'm going to be digging into the truths of this game. So first off, LSD Dream Emulator. LSD does not stand for the drug but for, uh, for uh, Linking Sapient Dream. Which when you first play the when you click the game or uh, put in the game, uh, you're greeted with this, some other intro stuff, and then it says linking sapient dream and scrambled letters that are moving around being jumbled, and the intro video. I did record that, but for some reason it didn't want to play, so I'm like, screw it. So, what is the point of this game? Well, when you first start playing, there's no obvious point. This is what you're, this is the title screen and what you are greeted with. Day one, start, save, load, graph, and shake. Shake just vibrates the controller. Graph is what you see whenever you end a game, or whenever you wake up from a dream. Then load and save, you know, with those two, and start. When you start, you're in a world, um, completely random. And there'll be... So when you first start, there's normally normal textures, everything looks pretty realistic. Um, by the way, this is an old PS1 game, so it's pretty old. <laughs> but uh, you bump into an object, or a wall, or a fence, or whatever, uh, a person, then you get transported somewhere else. And... The, and you are greeted with weird objects like this. Now, this game was based on the developer's dreams. So you're going to see some pretty wacky stuff because this was all based on dreams. Like, see, there's a person you could bump into. They don't interact with you. Now, the thing about this game is the footsteps. They have, like, this weird sound and they get really annoying after a while. And the music generates... Uh, like, to fit what the place is, what's in it, so it, like, there's tons of different patterns, and it generates music for the area, so it's kind of, like, creepy or whatnot. <laughs> now, this game can make you laugh, it can make you cry, it can scare you, it can do all sorts of stuff to your head. There's an example of it like jump scaring you like there's more eerie things than this but this just made me freak out the first time I saw it there's a giant pit and I was looking down into it because if you fall into a pit a deep pit then uh, you wake up from your dream instantly well I was looking at it and boom a giant floating elephant appears in my face and I yelled and I like was scared out of my pants <laughs> now sometimes when you're uh, when you start a dream you're greeted with this uh, just some Japanese writing. I have no idea what it says, period. Uh, so if someone could translate that, I'll give you a high five. But no idea what that means. Now, see that little dragon next to the fireplace there? You can encounter it in two places. I really have no idea what it means. But it'll be on the fireplace on rare occasions and it'll fly at you. Or it will be back where the elephant was, and it'll be over on the opposite side, and it, like, flies up. <laughs> now, th this made me discover the point of the game. Uh, there's, like, this jungle carnival place. I have a, a picture of it that I can show you later on. But it's this, like, carnival type thing. There's a Ferris wheel. There's, like, random structures built. There's, like, a castle type thing. And there's railroad tracks. Well, I was walking around minding my own business when this cutscene came up. And it was just me flying up, up into, and I saw the sun. 
and then the graph appeared, which meant my day ended. Now, uh, the white spots indicate where your past dreams have been. The red is where your dream was. Upper, downer, static, and dynamic. <laughs> Apparently, you either want to have the best dream ever or the worst dream ever. By having that, I guess I had a really good dream. Um, I'm assuming if you get into the purple area or the dark yellow, I guess you win or you lose. Um, static and dynamic. Static just means everything's like really crazy and dynamic is like intense, I guess. Um, so if you look at that, you can see that those things match the sun. This is actually a place in the game that you could get too often. You walk out of the sun's mouth, and those things just, like, f go forward and exchange it with another sun, which is at the end of this long tunnel. Um, pretty cool, but not all, but sometimes they don't have those little ring things. Uh, some weird stuff I saw. A girl on a dragon, which I was kind of late to take a picture of. But And then here's another cutscene I, I saw. Now, this is where the, gra the game has more of, like, a story. There was this little girl in, like, this dark, gloomy, uh, city. I walked up to her, and she teleported over, uh, over. Uh, I saw her there, and then she would be gone. Uh, I saw her over there, and finally her head just rolled off, and she walked into me, and my screen went red, and I woke up somewhere else. Now, also in the city, all the cars have bullet holes in the front. And there's some cars that will be moving. Yeah. Um, once I saw a car moving and then it wrecked with another car and then one flew into the lake. Pretty weird. <laughs> and, yeah. Dr. Mario Bill. Now this is a guy called the Gray Man. Um... What he does is he, later on in the game, you earn the ability to do something called flashback. Flashback, uh, it just lets you replay your old dreams, but I'm not a big fan of it because it doesn't really help you in the game. It's just a little feature. But the gray man, if he gets too close to you, then the screen will flash, he'll be gone, and you lose the ability to flashback. I've caught, uh... After I saw him there, he just kept appearing and teleporting to me everywhere I went. Now, this is actually the world where uh, the cutscene came on. So just tons and tons I saw him. I saw him non-stop. So, just weird. Um, now, the developer, the main developer of this game... He, you know, obviously, uh, at this point, you know, there's, he had wacky dreams. Um, well, he said, uh, about the game, the gray man told me to make the game. So, that's a little spooky. Now, if I zoom in, you can see he's just got a little hat, gray coat. Some people call him gray coat, but whatever. So, um, I want to get back to the little girl. I mean, this is disturbing. And then there's bullet holes in the cars. That obviously means, like, a bad dream. Dr. Mario Pill. <laughs> now, if you go to the right place, sometimes in this building, there's a man there. I've only seen him three times, and I bumped into him twice. Um, if you get close to him... He turns around, there's a dead body over there, which, by the way, there's tons of dead bodies in this city just laying around. And he pulls a gun on you and shoots you, and you're dead. What the freak. <laughs> now, I'm gonna let you think about this for a while. The gray man told me to make this game. There's dead bodies everywhere. There's... Rare occasions where you find weird buildings. Sometimes you see your screen will flash different colors. The game is weird. It's got a big meaning to it, though. Question is, do you want to figure it out? Or do you want to 
realize that this game has a big meaning. A cop the last copy of this game sold for hundreds of dollars. This game is really hard to find. Luckily, my friend has a hard copy of the game, and um, on his emulator, we played the game, which is legal for him, even though it's not legal for a lot of people out there. And it's why would why there's tons of creepy pastas that are, are similar to this like they have a story like a lesson sonic.exe stuff like that someone tells you to do something or not to do something these things are weird this is one of the few creepy pastas that are real real a hundred percent real and you know what I'm gonna show you that this game is real And it crashed, of course. Now, I'm probably going to run out of time real soon. But. Um, I just want you to know. That. Everything was put in here for a reason. He didn't want to. The developer wasn't screwing around. When he put all this stuff in. So. Um, I guess I could use this time to hurry and show you the intro. Look at that. If you look closely, it says, like, inlinking the sapient dream or something. And then it, like, bursts out everywhere. And then it gets to, like, the actual intro. I'm having really bad FPS because I'm recording, so... I normally get really good FPS if I'm not recording, but I know I have low battery. It's not letting me skip for some reason. There we go. But see, this is 100% real. If you want to try this game, you can download it, but it's really, really hard to find. So, um... Thank you all for watching, and talk to Mario Pill. See you guys later.